One cannot live by the river and wash his hands with spit. It's an abomination. Yes, if you know, you know. Right now, the old lorries, they are jumping kitty kitty. They now know that Queen Naomi is the coco. Queen Naomi is the one Kabi is in love. Queen Naomi, after that oath, every day, yesterday, all of them are confused. They don't know where to start from. And if there's one thing I love about Olori Miriam is that or more in this polygamous thing, eh, it's like she's the most strategic of all of them. She is just too, too strategic. According to information that she went to Lagos, so she has traveled, she has run to Lagos as I'm talking to you like this. She has run to uh, Oba Elegushi Palace or to visit him. Hey, hey, in Elegushi. Oba Elegushi was there with Sekina. She said she wants to see both of them. Anyway, Sekina said she doesn't want to listen because apparently Sekina is Naomi's friend. But Oba Elegushi told him, let's just listen to her. Let's just listen to her to not do us any bad thing. That in, she knows that um, Kabi, um, Oba Elegushi is his own, his bestie. That is just begging them that Oni should not drive them out of the palace. That Oni have relegated them to the Olori, Olori quarters, which them, they are not on arguing. You understand that right now they are not even living as husband and wife which is not a problem to them but this one that only is saying that is going to drive them out of the palace that is not really going down well with her that she loves kabiesi so much that if she doesn't love kabiesi she will not be going as far as coming to beg oba elegushi that how many times have she come to beg oba elegushi that is because she loves her husband she loves her marriage and she wants to stay in her marriage you understand and she wants to stay in her marriage. And that is why she coming to meet Oba Elegushi. That please, they should beg her That they should give them a second chance. Then they say Oba Elegushi and I say, how many times are they going to give you a second chance? Every day, give me a second chance. Give me a second chance. At what point are you going to repent and come out your hand for this second chance? Because the second chance KBS is giving you people is too much. Right now, Oba Elegushi said that he's tired, that their drama is surplus, that their drama is everywhere, that their drama is even bigger than, than, than reality TV show. That right now, people are referring to Oni of Ife's palace as, Fuji, as, as Ile Efe House of Commotion. That first, first, that is not good for them to be referring And why are they referring to Oni of Ife's palace like that? It's because of the women's behavior. And that is because the women don't want to change character. Now, the reason why um, Oba Elegushi is actually confused at this moment is because Oba Elegushi and Olori Sekinat, they are rooting for Naomi. They have been Naomi supporter from day one. They have always loved Naomi. Oba Ele uh, Naomi and Sekinat, they've been friends. Although they met when she married Kabiesi, but they've bonded since then. And Oni of Ife knows that. I uh, say so Oni of Ife. Oba Elegushi knows that Sekinat will never support Miriam against her friend. So I just feel this one that Miriam come from is a loose battle. But it's not bad that Oba Elegushi still have to listen to her. Oba Elegushi now asked her, oh, what have you done this time around again? And she's saying that Oba Elegushi to look at her leg, that she just woke up, her leg got, her leg got swollen, and uh, the Ifa Prince came and was lying against her. And Oba Elegushi now to the letter retrieved that statement that the Ifa Prince don't lie. They are the custodian of culture. If not for them, Yoruba culture would have Dabaru by now. So, Miriam should stop saying that if a prince lie, let her restate, retrieve a statement. That was when she now said that, okay, the if a prince accused her that she sent back to send that to somebody. Then, Oba Elegushi now asked her, but you, did you send back to send that to somebody? She said, no, really. Not like she really sent back to send that. That the fact is, anybody that sent back to send, anybody that sent her something, she sent it back to the person. So Oba Elegushi now asked her, so what do you want? He said, just want Oni to, to beg Oni of, to, to you just want uh, Oba Elegushi to beg um, Oni of Ife. Let him just beg Oni of Ife. Let Oni of Ife re reconsider that she, this is her last marriage. She doesn't intend to marry any other person. And Oni of Ife is the only man she loves. She does not intend to go and love another man or stay with another man or play with another man. If Oba Elegushi can find a way and talk to Kabiesi so that Kabiesi will reconsider. Because right now it's like Kabiesi is very angry. Nobody will talk to Kabiesi for Kabiesi to listen. Kabiesi does not even want to hear their own part of the gist. And Oba Elegushi now says, so what is your own part of the gist? Their own part of the gist that she promised to change. She promised to... You understand? Hey, <laughs> hey. The fact is that Miriam has used all the second chances she could get. Everything is left for now is shame and disgrace and bringing Kabiesi down. You understand? Olori 
and Shekinat should not forget to release her dogs and her cats and Aewure on, on, on Miriam when she's going so that next time she will not come and be disturbing their peace. Because as she's talking, she's going back to the palace. That thing that is still in Miriam's mind is what she will go and do. Miriam will never change. When we tell you people that Miriam will not change, we know what we are talking about. You understand? You understand? So, Olo is a kid. I kindly send her out. Let her go with her baggage because her own wahala is too much. You know when some people, they are just, they are just born with wahala. Miriam is one of such people that are born with wahala. And now she's, she's saying that she does not have access to KBAC, that she can stay one week, she will cop KBAC, that KBAC will not pick, is that how a man is supposed to behave, that if they have a difference, is it not better for KBAC to come, let them trash it out, but this one, KBAC will ignore her, KBAC is not picking her call, KBAC is not talking to her, how will she live without the love of KBAC? Oh, all of a sudden, you realize that you cannot live without KBAC. Oh, shit, love a guy. <laughs> Right now, she knows that she's not in the good book of KBAC, but she doesn't know how she wants to convince Olori Sekinat and Oba Elegushi that they should not give up on her, that they should not give up on her, that she has never been in royalty. This is the first time of marrying in royalty, that everything is learnable. She's just trying to learn. Yes, she's just trying to learn all these things, that they should beg KBAC, that KBAC should please, that she's ready to obey her husband, that she's ready to, she's ready to carry the marriage on her head, that whatever she does is for the good of KBAC and is for the good of the kingdom. Most times she's feeling she's doing good things for KBAC and she's doing good things for the kingdom. She does not know that all these things she's doing is not going down well with KBAC, that they should please tender mercy with justice. They should please beg KBAC, that she's, not, that, she, that she's ready to roll on the floor, that she is even ready to stay in boys' quarters, not even all lower quarters. But she just wants to talk to KBAC. That what is marriage if you cannot communicate with your partner? Oh, she. Anyway, they say, oh, by leg, she told her that he's going to talk to KBAC, that that is not a problem. That he and KBAC, they are seen today because they have an event they are attending. But the question right now is, is Miriam ready to change? You understand? Because what Miriam has done, then Miriam has gone too far. Awahala, oh, 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 Awahala is pro mass. In short, she's the one that is giving KBAC the most Wahala, followed by Toby Phillips. Toby Phillips' Wahala is, is pro mass. It's in another level. You understand? The worst of the matter is that Miriam has gone too far that even if you are trying to, to help Miriam, you don't know where to start from. If you are trying to save Miriam, you don't know where to start from. If you are trying to rescue her, you don't even know where to go because she has offended a whole lot of people. She has offended KBAC. She has even offended her own self because even she herself, she is confused right now. She never know where her destiny is. That is why I see her running up and down, looking for who will help her, looking for who will salvage her. But it is what it is. Anyway, they said, oh, by good, she said that one thing she should know is that he's going to beg. But just that he feel like KBAC has made up his mind. He has decided what he wants to do with all the Oloris. So the Oloris have to stand their ground. Either they change a new leaf or they collect the new order from KBAC because KBAC is now the new sheriff in town. If you know, you know. Anyway, she left with the mind and the opinion that they are going to help her. We pray they help her because it is what it is. But Naomi is still number one, the champion. Put your comment in the comment section below. See you guys later. Bye for now.